Hey YouTube, it's Kate Kakuda. Uh, this is the disc kit or disc conversion or whatever that I got off of the 71 Olds Cutlass that I seen at the scrapyard. Uh, I got all this for $15. He charged me like 30 cents a pound and just estimated that it was about 15 bucks. So I got a front disc conversion kit for A body, GMA body for 15 bucks. I got this from my 1970 uh, Chevelle Malibu project. Um, these parts have been soaking in a, a, a cooler full of gas uh, for 24 hours. I just took them out um, and um, they'll clean up nice. The rotors aren't scarred. They're uh, flush all the way across. Um, I was just put, putting everything out because I had, when I got everything out of the junkyard, out of the scrapyard, I put everything in this little, this little cooler, and I had kicked it over when I was in the garage one day, and all the little nuts and bolts had fell out, and uh, I got to look around on my garage floor because I lost one of these sleeve sliders for the calibers, and uh, I can't, can't find one of the barons. But, you know, you can buy buy this stuff separate at the hardware store, the auto parts store. One of these nuts is missing. And uh, so th there's a couple of things that uh, I uh, misplaced. Actually, that nut's right here in this socket. I didn't have tools, actually. When I went down there, I had a couple of tools in my truck. And I didn't have the correct socket. But I still managed to get it off. So it's stuck in here, and I just haven't got it out yet. So that's... That's that bolt right there missing. So I had to find the sleeve and a barn. And uh, but here's the kit, the spindles with the calibers, caliber lines, caliber little brackets to hold them to the steel lines. Uh, like I said, it's the, it's the whole kit. Dust covers are nice. This stuff will clean up even more. This is the left side. They're all stamped on the back, left and right, which makes it kind of cool when you go put it back together, since yours doesn't look like that, you know. And uh, the pad pads are all thick. They're new. I was very, very lucky. Fifteen dollars for a disc conversion kit. Uh, I'm gonna probably redo the calibers are twenty dollars at AutoZone. And uh, they have a $20 core charge. Um, I was noticing on one of my calibers right here, the caliber is ripped. So they sell the rebuild kit for $6.99. I also need one of the brake lines has a chafe on it. It's probably this one. It's got a little chafe mark in it. So I need a brake line. So. I could exchange these ones, pay $40 and get two brand new lifetime warranty ca calibers. Uh, this one's got the GM numbers on it. This one, the right side, it looks like it's been replaced at one point. This is, like I said, this one's got a GM stock number on it. Uh, and then on the these back and dust shields have part numbers on them left and right this one's got green paint on it probably he might have got this out of the salvage yard it's got like it looks like a stamp mark right there too I was noticing on this GM one, it had yellow writing on it. It's hard to see. Let me see if I wet it. It's got the factory stamp on it. I was, when it was wet and I was cleaning it, I had noticed it.
guess that would say it was remanufactured maybe. Kind of cool though when you see stuff like that. Original stampings or some kind of stamping on something. Uh, so these are the, the road is. They're thick. Got no scarring on them. There's no, you see they're not worn. They're the same level all the way across. Doesn't divot or anything. Cool, huh? So the rotors, rotors are nice too. I'll repack the barons and stuff like that. And barons are cheap. Barons are under ten bucks. So maybe even put new barons in it. But I got all this for fifteen dollars at a scrapyard. I went to a scrapyard and seen they had a 1971 Olds Cutlass. You could see one in one of my videos. And uh, I was lucky enough to let them. Uh, let me rob these caliber, this uh, brake kit, this brake kit off of it. Uh, I wanted to grab some other stuff you can see in the video, but uh, some of the guys that worked there were saying I was a liability, so I had to get out of there, you know, because if they had bumped into the, the car while I was working on it or underneath it or had my legs under it or whatever, I could have really got hurt. And they were driving around in heavy equipment, picking stuff up, crushing it and stuff. So it wasn't a junkyard, this was a, just a regular scrapyard where you just drop metal off and get the hell out of there. And uh, But yeah, I got this stuff. The car I had with power steering, uh, air conditioning. It was a, a floor shift car, so I wanted the steering column out of it. Um, it had bucket seats in it, white leather bucket seats. Um, and the back seat was still in there, I wanted that stuff. Uh, it had the uh, floor shifter still in the car. Uh, it had a really clean black dashboard. Um, the car was really complete. The rear end was still in the car. It was a rolling chassis, no motor, no training. And uh, you could see it in one of my other videos. It was a 71 Oldsmobile Cutlass. Uh, white with white interior. Um, yeah, I really wish I, I had the opportunity. I tried to buy the car from them. They wouldn't let me buy the car. Uh, it's the same scrapyard that I end up buying that 57 Chevy out of, the Bel Air. And, um, but Cape Cracuda, thanks for watching. Uh, this is a belated uh, video. I never took a video of the of this uh, $15 A-body disc conversion kit that I got. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay small, keep it all, and. Uh, Try to restore them. Don't crush them. Restore them. Thanks for watching.